here we're going to demonstrate the Python app that we're going to use to control our TV using an Arduino and an IR library. As you can see, as we move the cursor over the buttons, uh, they change color. Now we're going to click on the power on the TV, the power on the cable box. Take a few seconds for it to warm up here. And there we have a NASCAR race. Now we'll adjust the volume a little bit here. And we can mute the volume altogether. Notice that when we click on a button, it actually makes a clicking sound. Now we'll switch to the previous channel. Looks like the Pacer game is in a commercial right now. So we'll switch back to NASCAR. Let's call it the on-screen guide. We think there's a game on later. We'll go right arrow a few arrows. And up arrow an arrow. Or two. There's the other NBA game. And we will record that game. And clear the guide. Now we'll call up the list of pre-recorded programs. See what's available. Nothing I want to watch right now. We can rewind. See what we missed while we were looking at the other channel. And now we will play. Pitcher in pitcher. Looks like NBA is still in commercial. And to conclude our demo, we will shut everything off. Here's the TV off and the cable off. Here you can see we've implemented the same thing on my Raspberry Pi. We had to make a couple of changes. Of course, the serial ports go by a different name under Linux, so we changed that. Also, we don't have the Windows fonts available, so we've changed it to the standard default Python font. If we come over here, you can see we hover the mouse over the buttons, and the buttons will highlight little circles where it clicks, that's an effect from the screen capture program. That's not an effect of the program itself. Change the volume control, up a couple of notches, or mute, or whatever we want. That's all.